The Supreme Court is taking up a case that could eliminate some charges against former President Trump and hundreds of other people involved in January 6. I'm with Courtney from the Fact Check team, and the court started hearing arguments earlier today, and a decision isn't expected for months, but mm -hmm. it's already having an impact on some. That's right, Didi. Over the last several weeks, federal judges in Washington have agreed to release around 10 defendants who are serving prison sentences because of the obstruction law, since the court is determining whether the law should have been used in the first place. How significant is this decision going to be? That's a good question. To put things into perspective, according to the Justice Department, nearly 1,400 people have been charged in total. Out of those, just over 350 were charged with obstruction, and around 170 have been actually convicted. Many have had their sentencing delayed. So if the court did reverse the ruling, it wouldn't affect a majority of the defendants because they're also charged with other felony or misdemeanor crimes. That means there wouldn't be any cases that would be completely thrown out. Also, some judges have already signaled that they'd increase the sentences attached to other charges in the, if the obstruction count is deemed invalid. All right, Courtney, thank you. And for more on this Factory Team topic, a lot to it, including links to their sources, of course, scan the QR code on your screen or visit the national desk.